Hello to all students. This is Professor Masood Fuzel. I hope you are doing fine. Today we are going to discuss life cycle of lamprey, which is usually known as brook lamprey. Brook lamprey or lamprey, they are special type of fishes found in marine and fresh water, and uh, they belong to class Cephalae aspidomorphi. If we look at the literal meaning of aspidem Spade, cephalo spademorphy, cephalo mean head, spido mean shield, morphy mean form. It means their body has a head which has in the form of a shield, protective layer. So they are very special uh, uh, kind of fishes which are found in marine water. So let's look at the external morphology of a lamprey. Body of lamprey is usually eel-like, which is snake-like body which contain gills on dorsal and ventral gills and caudal fins. The anterior surface there is a mouth which is sectorial and also present on the ventral surface of the body. In the center there is a mouth which, which, which is surrounded by horny teeth and these teeth uh, are uh, used to suck the blood from the, uh, from the other uh, host fish. Just behind the mouth there are seven pair of gills which open to the exterior and also there is an eye which is sensitive to light. Uh, the internal structure we will discuss in some other lecture but today we are only going to describe the uh, external morphology of lamprey. These fish usually live in uh, oceans and sea water uh, for uh, some part of their life. So when they become adult after living one to two years in seawater and acting as a parasitic life, as a parasite they attach on any fish present in the ocean with the help of their sectorial mouth. Then they make a hole with their horny teeth in the, on the surface of the skin of the fish. Then they inject in, uh, anticoagulant chemicals inside the body of the host fish which prevents blood clotting and these fish can suck blood from a host fish. So after completing uh, their life, after finishing their life, they start uh, swimming towards fresh water. As you know that all the rivers uh, fall into an ocean. So they move out from the salt water, sea water and start swimming towards fresh water. So male and female, both fish start to swim upstream in the river and they enter in a river and against the flow they swim. They keep swimming, keep swimming until they reach shallow water of the river where uh, water is shallow and very fast. Where they are going to spawn. And uh, During this process, these fishes prepare a nest uh, on the bed of the river within where the pebbles and sands are present. They make tiny holes inside the sand to lay eggs. After making a nest, female fish attaches uh, itself to the stone with the help of sectorial mouth, while male fish attaches with the female fish uh, on the body of the female fish with the help of the sectorial mouth. After attaching, firmly attaching with the uh, stone which is against the water flow, uh, male fish keeps uh, twisting around the female fish and while female fish lays eggs inside the nest and male fish sprinkle as, or spray the sperms on the surface of the eggs so that they can be fertilized. This process uh, keeps uh, uh, for few hours and after completion of spawning process all the eggs had been laid and they have been fertilized by the sperm of uh, male fish and they bury the eggs. Uh, with help of sand and after all this process they die. So that is their uh, the last moment of their life. So after spawning this is a kind of very instinctive behavior and that they never been taught about by their parents and they after completion of their life they're, they're swimming towards the river and then making a nest and laying eggs and then after that uh, they you know like uh, 
they finish their life so that's all for their life so after laying eggs in the nest after two weeks uh, uh, larvae are produced which are known as amocyte uh, larvae amocyte larvae swim in fresh water and then bury th themselves in the sand just like amphioxus so this is a larva which is buried inside the sand in fresh water which is about 7 millimeter in size they start here uh, feeding in fresh water and uh, usually they filter feed you know the debris or detritus or the food particles which travels from the river stops and reach on the bottom of the river they filter it and food use as a food and this stage they spend like two to three or sometimes you spend four years and in this process larva uh, try to uh, increase its length and finally it reaches to the 17 centimeter amocyte larva after reaching this size this larva undergoes a process known as metamorphosis and in the process of metamorphosis these larvae develop uh, gills internal and external gill fills fins which are helps to uh, move dorsal and ventral fins as, as well as caudal fins sectorial mouth with horny teeth and it comes out from the uh, sand and then starts swimming towards seawater in reaching ocean seawater young lamprey starts their life now they are known as young lamprey uh, and uh, they start as a parasitic life they catches on a fish and uh, attaches with sectorial mouth make a hole in the body of the skin of uh, the fish and suck blood usually most of the lampreys are parasitic but some are also free living after spending one to two years as a parasitic life in ocean, the same cycle is repeated. These uh, fish uh, travel towards the uh, river um, and uh, reach to the uh, bed, uh, shallow water of the river where they spawn and then die. This whole cycle I have uh, summarized for you so that you can easily understand this uh, whole uh, cycle. First of all, the spawning season which usually starts in spring. The fish uh, travel upstream in the river towards fresh water where they build a nest where they deposit eggs in the nest and male fish uh, fertilizes the egg with their sperms. In this process after deposition of the eggs in two weeks eggs hatch and small tiny larvae are produced. In one to three weeks these larvae are known as pro amocyte larvae which are going to enlarge their body and uh, after uh, becoming a little bit uh, stronger they drift or swim and then become a amocyte larvae final stage of the larva in this stage they can spend four to five years in fresh water in filter feeding after four to five years uh, they become they are going to become adult and in this process they undergoes a process known as metamorphosis metamorphosis in this condition certain body changes uh, uh, takes place which i already mentioned uh, gills, fins, sectorial mouth, horny teeth and etc. It becomes adult. Usually this process takes in summer or autumn. After becoming adult, they start swimming towards dime stream migration start. They travel towards ocean or sea uh, and in marine water, they reach in marine water where they spend one to two years as a parasite and uh, then they start uh, after spending one to two years in uh, marine water, they start moving towards upstream again. Upstream migration usually starts in winter where they reach in the fresh water of river where they build a nest in fresh water and after building nest they also they use spawning which is also known as a reproduction. So in this way in their life cycle has been completed. So I hope it makes sense and uh, I'll, that's all for today and I'll see you in the next lecture until then bye.